Hey everyone, Mike of the Handcrafted Travels. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I've been doing with the rigging on this wing so far and my wing tips. I have one wing done and up on the wall. So I have used, I don't think I can zoom this in, but you can see those little pins sticking out the top. I am using, instead of doing um, 40 some odd screws to hold the wing tip on, I am using a piano hinge dill. I can find my paperwork on that. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this piano hinge is from uh, the information I got is from Mike Bullock. I don't know if he's the one who designed it or invented it, but he put some uh, information out, and you can get it at mike at rvplane.com. If you want to get this, it works really well. I, the instructions are pretty good. You have to do a little bit of work to that ribbing that goes in the, in the back of it. And around the corners, that's why those pins are sticking out. It's really tight. I need to open those up a little bit, but it went all the way to where it goes to the round. I opened a couple of them up on one side and it went pretty much all the way in. Then you got to put a screw at the end to keep it from going too far, then a block at the end. I'll do that when I do all the finish work. But this is mainly just to get it on. So it's my first jab at it. A little bit of a Bowie lube should get that sliding right in too. And I figure if I put a drill on the end of that wire, get it rotating, it should rotate it right through. So that's the wing tips. I'm gonna put the lights and everything in when I have more room when I get the trailer out when I'm working on the fuselage. So on the rigging, what I just filmed me doing, which I don't think I did on the other one. First thing you do is you attach this. I didn't do it all the way through on, on this video. When the wing tips go in, it's a little bit of pressure, but so the other end of this will hook on to the fuel tank. And since I have the fuel tank off to store it on the wall, I'm just going to leave that undone until my final assembly, or at least when I put it on to rig the stick to this. Anyway, so this hooks to the aileron um, bell crank on the inside. So first thing you do is put this on. I stuck this on. Let me tighten that so I don't move it and have it shallow on one end. And then you attach it on this side. Now, this little piece here you put in and it zeroes the aileron to the flaps so you attach the flaps put the flaps all the way up the ailerons and then you this push rod that goes to the ailerons from this bell crank you adjust that so your ailerons are even with your flaps relatively even and this you adjust let me screw this in this you adjust as I just said, to be a certain measurement out from on the other side. So this will put everything to where it needs to be. So that's what I just did here. I have one wing completely done. I'll have the other one probably done soon. I'll do a little bit of stuff on this wing tip if I remember. I get out here and start working and there you go. So that's pretty much rigging the wings. It's real simple. The flaps all the way up should be even with this and my flaps and ailerons were sitting on the ground for a while so i got kind of banged up but you want that to be pretty straight see mine's all right and so yeah that's so i'd have to say that's pretty much zero and then when i put the wingtip on i'll leave that blue zeroing rig in there until i get the wingtip on to make sure the wingtip's pretty square with the aileron. The other one was, I think I was maybe a sixteenth of an inch off or something, which is not a big deal. That's that's actually really good. From zero and slide it off on the on the wing tip. I'm gonna have to shave on the back of that off about it's less than a quarter inch, so that's not too bad either. And I'll probably go at an angle to halfway up the tip, so that it makes a little bit of an angle, and I keep more tip and don't take as much off. The least you grind away on that, I think the better and stronger it'll be. 
It's my opinion. I may be wrong. So anyways, hope you guys have all enjoyed what I've done so far. If you want to see more details, you can, but I thought this would be a good thing to show. And as I go, when I get to something that I know I'm not going to remove again, I torque it and then I put my torque seal on it. So I know that it's been torqued and I don't have to worry about it anymore. If I have to loosen up in the future, I just chip all the torque seal off and I know it's not torqued if there's not got a glob on it. Anyways, that's my deal. I'll, I'll either throw this at the beginning of a, this wing, one wing being finished and this one all done, or I'll just have all the wings on the same thing and this will be in the middle. Or this may be a standalone, I don't know, because it's stinking long and you're probably bored listening to me. I hope you guys have a good day. See you next video.